Hi, welcome to lecture 9 in the series of audio and speech signal processing. In the previous lesson, so previous tutorial lesson, we were discussing, we have discussed about many methods of uh, silence or noise uh, removal from the speech signal. Uh, continuation in the in the same area, uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, a new method that is the pre-emphasized energy ratio in order to remove silence power from the speech signal. So first of all, we need to understand uh, what is like pre-emphasized energy ratio. So the formula for pre-emphasized energy ratio uh, is given by this. So uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, we do analysis frame by frame. So for a given frame I, uh, this is uh, calculated as we subtract all the samples from their previous samples and then sum them together and divide that sum uh, with the uh, kind of energy. It is uh, uh, linking as the energy of the frame uh, with the energy of the uh, frame. So that is why it is known as the pre-emphasized energy ratio and based on that we will find that uh, this ratio is quite high for the silence part or the for the unvoiced part and when a simple sample or the frame is voiced sample or voiced frame that means uh, some speech has been talked to that frame then this ratio is very low. So based on this information uh, we can discriminate between silence part and the uh, speech part uh, of the speech frame. So let's do it in MATLAB. So open MATLAB. In MATLAB, first of all, as usual, we will read the data. Audio read, and then this intro sample, and let's. And normalize the data uh, with the command like this so that the maximum amplitude goes to 1. So let's plot it. So this is a speed signal. Now, first of all, we will do frame. So we'll define uh, frame duration as 0 0.25 or 25 millisecond duration, and then we'll invoke. Uh, a framing function that is framing function of data into sampling frequency into and that is a frame duration. So it divides uh, the complete sound to different frames depending on the sampling frequency. So now uh, we calculate the pre-emphasized energy ratio. So first of all, we need to know uh, the number of rows and columns available in the frames. So we'll go for the size command and it will return number of rows and columns. So for uh, say all rows, first of all, because we need to do it by row by row. So we'll go for all rows, I goes to 1 to R and then we'll select in temp temporary folder frames and visual frame will store it temporary folder uh, we'll divide uh, create a folder sum and make it zero because it will keep uh, tracking the sum of all the uh, difference differences which needs to be divided uh, by the frame energy and then and then uh, we'll go for uh, this uh, loop was going from frame by frame and this loop is going within the frame so it will go from 2 to size length of the frame that is temp and that sum 1 of i is equals to will be sum 1 of i plus absolute value of Camp of J minus Camp of J minus one, and simply uh, this will end the loop. Uh, and this formula is simply uh, like uh, the implementation of this above command. This absolute value of S of I minus S of I minus one. 
now this sum of i uh, needs to be uh, differentiated uh, or needs to be divided by this one divide by and this n enr energy ratio will be keep uh, keep tracking of each individual frames energy ratio and n so now this enr contains the uh, 300 for there were 345 frames so it is a length of 345 we plot it uh, this is the pre emphasized energy ratio, so it doesn't signify anything right now. So let's plot it with respect to the original frame sequence. So let's say first normalize this energy ratio so that we have maximum amplitude of 1, otherwise, uh, its amplitude will be much higher than that of the input sound wave. So now, as we have done in previous commands, uh, we'll generate uh, this code is same as of that of the previous codes. Uh, this particular code uh, uh, increases this uh, energy ratio into uh, of the same size of the input data, and then okay, simply plot it. So this red curve uh, here, this red curve shows the pre-emphasized energy ratio, and this blue curve was the sign uh, was the input signal so I will look carefully for the speech portion like this one the this energy ratio is very low and the for silence part or the noise part this is very high so uh, we can based uh, making a threshold value and based on that uh, we can discriminate it and if we go so it seems like 0.008 uh, uh, ratio in order to remove this noisy part. So we can vary the threshold depending on the uh, reference, like of what portion we want to make it. So and that can be done very easily. Uh, it is simply uh, the silence removal is by like first we need to know the IDs uh, for which this energy ratio is less than in previous portion we have used is as greater than sample and then we will select only those frames which don't contain silence part and then uh, we will reconstruct the data so this is a command one and then we can power simply so this will be same plane so this is the reconstructed uh, signal and we can also uh, listen uh, to it by simply this sound command Uh, it is very clearly visible that uh, silence part has been removed for further process. So this was uh, another way of removing silence based on this pre-emphasized RG ratio. So let's uh, run this script, and this script will be uh, this script is available online on our website that is www.jcbrlabs, and you can download the same code from that website. So let's run it and this green portion shows the uh, silence removal portion part and this blue part shows the original species. So clearly the silence have been removed from the speech. So I hope you understood like uh, one more way of removing silence uh, from the uh, from a speech signal based on the screen passage and the ratio. And this is really a simple topic like we, uh, you can compare all the way, all the methods which we have compared 
and which uh, uh, which gives better satisfactory result uh, in your application so based on that you can apply any one of those methods in your some speech processing project so that's it for this video